So, what about the health of all this old growth forest? You can bet the answer to that question will vary widely depending on who you ask. The environmental activists paint a bleak picture and will tell you the redwood ecosystem is fragile and at the risk of being lost forever. The timber industry advocates will tell you it's as healthy as it ever has been. And so, who is a person to believe? Well, I'll tell you this for sure. Most of the media a person reads, hears, or sees of this issue is presented from an environmentalist viewpoint. And it's never a pretty picture. The old growth redwood ecosystem is comprised of many separate elements that all work together biological and climatic. Complex as it may seem as a whole, when you take on each element individually, it starts becoming simpler to understand. Mm -hmm. All right. And there's no better place to start learning how it works than by taking a close look at a second growth redwood forest first. At the beginning of this summary, I promised to show you a large tract of second growth redwoods called Navarro Redwood State Park. It's in Mendocino County, just 20 minutes from my home. Navarro Redwoods is 11 miles of prime river flat habitat. It's predominantly second growth, though scattered throughout you'll find some residual old growth redwoods still remain. This river flat is an alluvial floodplain and the high water mark from the winter floods is clearly evident by the silt line on all the trees. The majority of second growth redwoods on these flats arose as suckers from the roots of the old growth trees. Logging the big trees peaked here during the 1880s and 90s, which today makes these second growth trees about 120 to 130 years old. In that short amount of time, they have grown to 6 feet in diameter and have reached heights well over 200 feet tall. Having sprouted from the roots, the trees formed in rings around the old stumps. Some people call these fairy rings, but locals simply call them sucker clumps. While sucker clumps are the rule in logged over areas, you'll still find plenty of redwoods within that came as a result of seed, and of which have proven to be equally as vigorous as the sucker trees themselves. These large trees I'm posing by all came from seed. And look at this triple by the highway. Already it's over 12 foot through the wide way. That's one big redwood. Navarro Flats is a riparian zone and growing in companionship with the redwoods there is the California pepperwood. This stately hardwood usually grows only in openings along the river banks, but because of the logging more openings were created for the pepperwoods to grow, or should I say, flourish. And that goes along with all the other native trees, shrubs, and ground covers that is common to riparian zones and outer lying areas. It all flourishes in the second growth environment. Alders, willows, ash, elderberry, maples, hazelnut, huckleberry, every variety of fern, sorrel, orchids and trillium, moss, lichen, and all the fungi. It's here, everything including the windfalls. The fact is, there's more growth and diversity within this second growth forest than there ever was when it was all old growth. It's a more dynamic forest than its old growth counterpart. Currently, the redwoods have reached the point where they're beginning to canopy over the understory. And given another 100 years, there will be about half the understory of what there is now. That will start becoming more old growth like darker and more static. And just imagine how much bigger the trees will be. Even at this early stage of development, Navarro Redwoods has reached the climax forest condition. 
Though it may still be a second growth forest, the habitat it's providing supports everything that lives in an old growth forest. Navarro Flats is a good case study, but it's not exceptional. Every river flat on the coast can match what Navarro Redwoods boasts, and even exceed it. What Navarro Redwoods is, is a good example to show us the vigor, resilience, and vitality of the Redwood ecosystem as a whole. And there's no denying that it is healthy and supporting every plant and animal that ever lived in the old growth. There has been no record of species gone extinct as a result of past or current logging practices here. Forest activists adamantly point out, this is a second growth forest and it will never be old growth again. I say, the second growth redwoods are no less important to the health and continuance of the old growth ecosystem than the old growth itself. Here is where an old growth forest begins. Thank you for watching and listening. I'm Gerald Baronic.